Hey guys, uh, a bit of a different format today. Not the usual bad drivers, but I figured I would like to show you guys how to turn a multicolor LED system that's supposed to be shining white light into an actual white light. As you can see, you can see multiple different colors everywhere. You got red in the back, blue at the bottom, and green just kind of dispersed everywhere. So, let's start it out by getting it down. I got it down and my car went to sleep. There we go. And here's the materials you will need. Scissors, zip ties, and sandpaper. Specifically either 400 grit or 600 grit. And all you're really going to do is just take one of the 400 grit pieces of sandpaper and cut a square out, just like that. And you can put this away, keep this, and this is probably the most simple part of the procedure. Just take the sandpaper and sand it. And what this is doing is this is clouding up the plastic, which diffuses the light and kind of mixes the colors over here and set it down on the floor so that way you can get an actual white plate. And there you have it. Now the lights are all scuffed up. And you can see it's producing white light now instead of multicolor lights. And just to be sh or just uh, make sure that you get the end caps too, like right at the very edge. So you can see like it's all one, one shade of like a kind of cloudy color. And that way you don't get any kind of you know stray beams of light coming out and now we will mount the lights back on and I'm not sure if anyone else has this problem but my dash is not exactly flat so I can't really mount something this rigid on this without it like sticking out to one side so I can't screw it on or anything so what I've come up with is these little plastic things that have like little holes in them for zip ties you can actually put these on because they, they have a double sided tape on them you put these on the car exactly where you want to mount to mount the uh, LED strip put the LED strip right there with zip ties around it and put the zip ties through these holes And this one you don't want to tighten up all the way because then either it'll pull this off or break this. So just kind of snug it up. Just like that. And now, to make it easier, if you have any nail clippers, just take the nail clippers and just snap off the ends. Just like that. Now, of course, if you want to make the light more diffused, you can actually take a simple tissue, some tape, and again, your scissors. All you really do is just take the tissue and split it down the middle. Just like that. So now you're left with a very thin piece of tissue that 
as you can see, blurs everything out. And since you won't be using that much, just go ahead and take your scissors and cut off about that much of the tissue, or a little less. Depends on how much coverage you want. And there you have it, cut my piece out. And now the last thing to do is take it and tape it up like this. The only reason I don't think this method really works is because of the fact that tissue can tear very easily and if someone kicks it, they're most likely going to re reveal one of the LEDs, which would cause one of the colors to become brighter than the other. Okay, albeit not the prettiest job, but look at that difference. Damn. Please don't do it again.